Hello, I'm Lisa Brangton, one of the plant doctors and certified arborists at Moana Nursery. And today let's talk about picking out the right tree. Sometimes trees have to be cut down, but armed in advance with information, we can usually avoid the time, energy, and expense of tree removal just by choosing the right tree in the first place. Often when speaking to customers, I ask, how large do you want the tree to be? And they say, oh, this size is fine. Many customers don't consider the mature size of the tree when they're choosing a tree. The mature size of the tree is extremely important long term as to whether or not the tree will be appropriate for your site. Trees can range from five feet wide in maturity to 50 feet wide in maturity. Trees can be 12 feet tall or 200 feet tall. Although most trees planted in the garden will stay anywhere between 10 to maybe 40 feet wide, don't count on what size the tree will be in maturity when you're looking at it in the nursery. In addition to size, you should consider the shape of the tree. The shape of the tree can be broad, wide, and fill a lot of space but not get very tall. Or a tree can be very narrowly columnar, might get 40 feet tall but only stay four feet wide. You should know what size and shape the tree will be in maturity. A weeping tree will occupy the space in your garden differently compared to a very narrow, upright form. A broad tree may be perfect for filtering out an unwanted view. An artistically weeping tree may be perfect for framing a view. Think about the shape of the tree as it matures when choosing your tree for your landscape. Another area that customers should consider when choosing a tree is the rooting characteristic of the tree. Roots are often not thought of but can be very important. Some trees have a broadly, fairly shallow spreading root system that can be not so good for your pavers and sidewalks or even house foundation as the tree matures. Other trees have well-mannered root systems that don't disrupt pavers, sidewalks, or curbing. In addition to mature size, shape, and rooting characteristics of your tree, flowers and fruit may be a consideration. Flowers and fruit can add to the aesthetic appeal of the tree, but do keep in mind that fruit and flower petals can both drop onto patios and sidewalks. Of course, one of the things that we want to think about when choosing a tree is, is it suitable for the site culturally? Will it handle the soil conditions? Will it handle the wind and the sun? Reflected light and heat are also considerations for your tree. You want to make certain that your tree will handle the conditions that you're going to be planting it in. Some trees may adapt, but require relatively more management and labor on your part. By choosing a tree that truly is well suited to your soil, your water conditions, reflected light and heat, wind, and the amount of sun that you can provide, you will make certain that your tree will both be long lasting in its beauty and pose less of an everyday labor event for you. When choosing your tree, think too about whether you want it to be a broadleaf or deciduous tree that loses its leaves, or an evergreen. Broadleaf or deciduous trees have the added benefit of providing shade in the summer, but allowing plenty of sun in in the winter, whereas an evergreen tree may be what you desire to screen out an unpleasant view or protect you from a prevailing wind. Do keep in mind with an evergreen tree, if you are planting where it will provide shade in the winter months, you can create an ongoing maintenance issue with snow and ice on a driveway or sidewalk. So now the fun part about choosing a tree. Most customers come in with the idea that they wanna have a tree to plant in their yard. It may be a new yard or a place where a tree was taken out. It may be a spot that they're going to create a new garden space and they want the tree to be a focal point. 
By keeping in mind all of the considerations that we've previously discussed, the mature size and shape, whether it's a broadleaf or an evergreen tree, its rooting characteristics and its general suitability to the site, you're well on your way to choosing the right tree. Now you get to make decisions based on is the color of the leaf right? Is the shape of the leaf pleasing? You can decide when it is a tree that might be coming into bloom or when it might have fruit that adds a nice late in the season accent to your landscape. Your tree may be a great tree for bird habitat. It may also be a magnet for visiting bear and deer. Keep in mind that all of the secondary attributes of your tree, things like flowers and fruit, are things that can also change how the tree functions in the landscape. Another consideration in choosing your tree is its compatibility with nearby utilities. This can be considerations of overhead power lines or underground utilities such as gas lines or plumbing. Thanks for joining me today to talk about choosing the right tree for your landscape. Please join us at any of our three locations when you have questions about trees and or just want to purchase a tree. We're always happy to help.